everyone, my name is Nomis, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are picking up here a little... Actually, a little bit of time has passed since we last played. Uh, on my end. I did some more work in the meantime, guys. Our backyard is looking quite a bit different. We have a new deck area up in here. With, uh, we've got our kiln and our smelter over here. Our rain collectors, we got a place to rest now. Of course, this is the garden that we worked on last episode. Oh, we're in the garden. I think these potatoes are ready to harvest. Let's grab these. A nice, fresh seven potatoes. Excellent. Uh, we will plant something later. Don't worry about that right now. That is our new garden shed. I do have a floor in there right now. Put that in, in between episodes. I think that's looking pretty good. And back in here, I built us a little kind of addition onto this house. This will be like our laboratory slash uh, workroom, I think. Keep all the, those kind of uh, items in here. Nothing right now, but lots of storage. I think it'll be cool. And we have access to this whole house as well. So, now that we are caught up on what's new at the base, which I I have to say is, I think it's coming along pretty nicely. Let's hop up here, get a good bird's eye view. Very nice. So today, I think we're going to take a break from clearing out the mall. Because we have been hammering our way at that quite a bit lately. Let's get our axe equipped here. And we might as well... We've been here for several episodes, and we still haven't really searched the rest of our neighborhood. Just this block. So today we're going to head down to the next block over. Loot the homes. I think we're going to end this episode, if it uh, catches up with us here. We're going to end the episode today with uh, making some cookies. We're gonna try our hand at the uh, campfire again. We have a fire extinguisher now. So hopefully that'll, <laughs> fingers crossed. But I think we're gonna try and make some cookies. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic, the first house. What should we expect? So we're gonna need to keep our eye out for some flour. I think we do have one thing of flour. We'll need flour, sugar, uh, water, which is easy enough to come by with our rain collectors. Hopefully that's everyone. And I think it's just those three things that we can make some cookie dough. We can add in some peanut butter or chocolate chips. Oh, and this looks, looks like a construction site down here. So we can make some peanut butter cookies or some chocolate chip cookies. Stay back, zombies. We're just trying to go about our day here. Our hand was forced. We weren't planning on coming this far down. Is there anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. One zombie chasing us. I think this is just empty. Oh, and there's an opening there. Awesome. Well, at least we, we're practicing our vaulting skills, I guess. There's not gonna be anything to loot over here. Let's stay zoomed out. Well, let's just, I guess we'll start from this end of the neighborhood then. Hello, Mr. Zombie. You don't notice us because we are ninja-like. In our stealthiness. So, now everyone should be on the opposite end of this block. We should be free to loot in peace and quiet. As long as we don't get any more alarms.
We got a box of tissues. Let's take that. But the main thing we are looking for is gonna be those cooking items. Take a battery. Another umbrella. I think that's only the third or fourth umbrella I've seen. They are fairly rare, it seems. Package of soy milk. Oh, I'm sure we could use that in cooking. Some rotten food. Take the Tupperware. Some trail mix. I haven't seen that before. Once we get our smelter up and uh, going, we can melt down all these utensils. Hmm. No flour. Another monkey wrench. There's some tongs. We do need that uh, for our smelter, so we just need to find some gloves now. And then we'll be good to go with that. Don't think we're going to find any flour or sugar up here. We will take the disinfectant, though. Each time we move bases, we lose some of our medical stash. Hangers. Okay. We should be able to find some flour and sugar. I would think. Oh, some ammunition. We are almost at the stage, the point of ammunition for those main weapons, the pistol and shotgun, where it's a, a bit of a concern right now. Considering how many zombies are left in the mall, which is a, a ridiculous amount. But we haven't really attempted to use a melee weapon in the mall yet. It's almost exclusively been firearms. Couple keys. We might have enough keys. I don't know, our key ring's probably pretty full. room not really what we want a box of staples sure we'll take that a can opener I think we actually do need one of those some orange jam nice take all that food Some more seeds, a potato peeler. If we, uh, here we have some potatoes. Can we peel the potatoes? No, I don't think we can. Oh well. There we go, some flour. I'll take the kettle too, we don't have that many. I don't think we have any uh, pots. Uh, we might just have the one some dark chocolate. Okay, we can use that in cookies. Ramen noodles. We'll take a frying pan. Uh, we should keep our eye out for a cooking, a baking pan too. So we will need that. Oh, it's a few turkey. So we will need the baking pan or the baking sheet to make the cookies. Hair gel, razor. Chances of us finding a raincoat, do you think? Watermelon jam. 
There's some sugar, nice. We'll take the water. More beef jerky. So cooking oil and more sugar and vinegar. Vinegar we can use for pickling uh, food. It's part of the Hydrocraft mod. Come on. I don't want to break that window really. Hup. Swing and a miss. Fall down. Oh, you stubborn zombies. I guess I am kind of tired. Ooh. Do I hear another zombie? Zombie, are you upstairs? You are. You were. Okay, what was this? Advanced carpentry farming for beginners. Don't need either of those. It's more bleach. More disinfectant. Well, at least we have enough uh, ingredients now for a couple batches of cookies. I'm excited to make these cookies. And I feel more confident now that we have a f fire extinguisher. Not as worried that we're going to kill ourselves. Although nothing is, nothing's for certain. We could, we could still kill ourselves. Uh, basketball, some barbed wire. A wooden crate. We can put that in our garden shed if we want. Ten peg. A measuring tape. Oh, well, we need a measuring tape for our our shed. We should look for some stuff to stockpile it. Some latex gloves. I don't think those will work with the smelter. But we can take uh, the glass flask and the latex gloves for our little laboratory. Oh, okay. I'm out of there. Alright, where's the stairs? Down here. I think we're fine. No signs of a trauma. You gonna come down, zombies? Ah. Oh, yeah. Where are you? Where are you, zombies? Did you get lost? Yeah, you did. Ooh, a compass. Oh, I think we're back to uh, back to hoarding again, guys. It's not a bad thing. Just gotta keep it under control. Another flashlight. Be good for another lamp. knowledge do you guys have? Trapping for beginners. We already have our trapping level one. Multiplier one. Okay, but we do need to read it again still, so. Seems to have been uh, oh, a golf bag. Let's take that. Can we fit it? There seems to have been a bug in uh, one of the builds. I think going or at least the save file, I guess going from 30 to 31 with the um, skill tree so it's showing that we have the uh, multiplier but um, it's not uh, like these ones are at 12 but these two aren't and we and we had to reread our carpentry and farming ones both of them Should we have rested up, do you think? He's still got a bit of fight left in him. Okay, we'll rest in the next house. In this one. As long as it doesn't have an alarm. 
Okay. Oh, this is another carbon copy of our West Point base. I like all these uh, different jams. Just saw a bunch of them in here. Some cola soda. Mmm. So much stuff to loot. More watermelon, peach jam. Delicious. Oh, get, we're getting full now. Some chili powder. Wow. A lot of new food. A potato masher. Let's take that. Some white chocolate, we'll take let's take that. A ladle. I think I saw that. Oh, there we go, baking tray. I think that's all we need now. That's all we needed, right? That's the baking tray. Well, let's uh here, do we actually look at what's on the shelf? Tire iron. Tire iron. Candle, a satchel, another baseball bat. Okay, we will take that. Uh, we have some hedge trimmers we can attach uh, to that baseball bat. Plunger. One rubber band. All right, we just want to actually rest in here, sir. So, just, yeah. hi yeah hi yeah hi yeah That's how you do it. Okay. Let's rest up. Oh, some more ammunition. So I will get rested up here. I'm going to go back, drop this uh, loot off, and we'll be back to fin up, uh, probably finish off the rest of these houses. Back at it the next day here. Had a nice rest. And uh, haven't had breakfast yet. Starting the day off right here. And it looks like that alarm hasn't really concentrated them. Kind of uh, just mingling around this general area. Okay, so we searched that one. This is the last one we searched, yep. Let's get this one. And it might be a bit of a shorter episode today, guys. Uh, so once we're done, maybe one or two more houses. I was expecting it to take us maybe a little bit longer to find the ingredients. But uh, we are going to get those cookies made. And I think uh, if we've got enough... Oh, another pistol. We have enough ingredients for two batches. We'll make one peanut butter and one chocolate. Maybe even a double chocolate. A bandana. Oh, there's another umbrella. As many umbrellas this episode as we've seen uh, all of uh, uh, the whole season. few more medical items and bathroom amenities a box of pens sure the newspaper will need starting fires I've actually been using uh, off-camera I've boiled water a couple times and I actually uh, started using can't go that way just a uh, ripped sheets. Just take uh, clothes off of a bunch of zombies and get a bunch of ripped sheets out of it. Another pistol. Another ladle. A thermos. And we'll take the water bottle. And we'll take the thermos too, why not? Some more chocolate. Wooden spoon. I think a lot of these kitchen items like ladles, wooden spoons, a whisk, egg beater, that kind of stuff. We'll need a lot of those items for 
different recipes. Another garden hose. We'll take that for this base for our garden. So antidepressants, more towels. Care of this one. Luckily, the other two moved away. Oh, I think she's coming back. Oh, she's an ugly one. And you too. Lock it. Oh, well, we could uh, knock down some doors too, because we do need some door hinges for our. Uh, shed and lab workshop area. Some hair dryer. A little bit of hair dryer. Oh, another fishing tackle box. Some hedge cutters. Needle and thread. Oh, I saw some more jarred goodies. Some jarred apples, more watermelon. Some apple jam, more vinegar, and we'll take the cooking pot. A wooden fork, sure. Some yeast. Jar of pineapple jam, canned tomatoes, wow. So much stuff. Take the kettle and the cooking pot. Some salt, sure. Already have a trowel. Some dry pasta. Oh my god, look at all this food, guys. A baking pan, sure, we'll take one. Lord knows what recipes await us. We're branching out from the, the standard salad, guys. It's a, it's a good thing, I think, overall. Cigarettes. These zombies just don't see us coming. Painkillers. Oh, that's full. Some cotton swabs, more tissue. Uh, let's fill up our water, though. While we're here. There we go. A wire hanger. Satchel. Okay. I think that'll do it for now. Let's head back to base. Make us some cookies. We can finish searching these last few houses uh, later. What's our cooking skill at right now? We would need the, uh, would this be intermediate cooking book? To get the multiplier? Oh well. So this is our campfire area. I don't know if we ever formally introduced it. That's what this all this setup is all about. Built a little shelf out here with our fire extinguisher and uh, a little bit of fuel and fire starting materials and I, <laughs> I dug all this stuff up this is what I, where I've been digging for clay and uh, that kind of stuff so I figured there's no grass here we'll build a fire pit out here and I just pulled the grass that was closest to it okay first things first let's get this stuff dropped off I will do that and we will be back to make our cookies all right, time for campfire. Time for a campfire. Time to not kill ourselves. Uh, let's grab our fire extinguisher, just in case. Grab our lighter. 
something to start it with and we'll grab a few sticks I don't think we'll need too many to cook this up but I've got a bunch of uh, water I got one kettle on here already another kettle and then a couple pots of water so we'll boil this up uh, while we're making these cookies oh one thing I did forget was our cooking sheet and cooking oil let's grab that but I have the other ingredients in our backpack here all right so didn't we pick up some cooking oil I think we can use butter too there's some cooking oil let's grab that our baking sheet baking tray nope yeah I think it's the baking tray all right, let's give this a whirl. Light up our campfire here. Let's not stand too close this time. Safety first. All right, we'll add in some sturdy stick. Sturdy stick. Okay, back off a little bit. Unpack our sugar. Pack the peanut butter, the flour, a few waters, and we have dark chocolate, chocolate, and white chocolate. So we'll, we'll take them all out, I guess. Let's see what we can make. Our baking tray, our cooking oil. Alright, let's see here. Make cookie dough. Uh, all. We'll see how many we can make, I guess. I assume just two. No, a bunch. Oh, we're making tons of cookies, guys. <laughs> Alright, we got enough for five cookie dough. Six cookie dough. Oh, it's still, it's still going. <laughs> Eight cookie dough. <laughs> okay. We can make chocolate chip cookies. White chocolate chip, peanut butter. We might as well make one of everything, I guess. Alright. Chocolate chip cookie, yo. Here we come. Uh, make white chocolate chip cookie. Make it. Make a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie. Or peanut butter cookie. Make a double chocolate. And I don't know. What do we want to make the rest of these? We'll save that for later. So that water is almost all cooked. Let's make cookie. Let us make cookie. Uh, oh, here we go. Uncooked chocolate. Uh, da, 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 da. So does it... Do we have to keep doing this until it's full? Make cookie. Does this do anything? I don't think it's doing anything. Here, let's put... Let's put the... Uh, what's that? <laughs> let's put the baking tray in the fire here. And... Let's put all our cookie dough in there as well. Oh my god, look at all these cookies. Let's expand this a bit. Well, the fire isn't spreading yet, guys. <laughs> Let's take our water. Okay, everything's cooking. I want to keep this open so we can uh, keep an eye on everything. Might need to put some more fuel on this. Just in case. Let's put on a couple more. Alright, nothing's burning. This water's taking a long time to boil. Oh man, we have so, we're gonna have so many cookies. This is ridiculous. If I would have known you could make this many cookies. Oh, and we're getting hungry. Just just smelling the, the cooking cookies. The campfire cookies. Can't stop saying cookies. Alright, almost there. I don't know if that water's gonna boil.
Okay. Oh, does it just, uh, what happens to them now? Chocolate chip cookies. Are they burning? Do they burn? Take them out. <laughs> Cookie, okay. They're, they're all cooked, I guess. I guess they don't burn. That's good. Okay. Take them all. Alright, let's take this water out. We'll put it back in. I think the fire's confused. Or one of them. One of them boiled. One of them didn't, though. Okay. Well, let's, we'll leave the uh, baking tray in there, I think. Don't need that right now. Excellent. So, let us have... What should we have? A double chocolate chip. Let's eat one. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Well, that, that's pretty filling. We have so many cookies. Ah, this water does not want to boil. Oh, there it goes. Okay. We successfully made food in boiled water without killing ourselves, guys. I'd say that's a major accomplishment. So, I think we're going to need to make uh, our next thing we have to do, now that we have all these cookies. All those cookies. I guess we can keep this stuff out here. The cooking oil. And the sticks. But we're going to need to make some more storage area for food. Is there anything else we want to put here? I think that's it. So let's grab some planks. We'll grab our toolbox. In here. Equip that. So that's got our nails and our hammer in it. Let's grab some planks. Okay. And then unpack our hammer. Our nails. make another uh, set of shelves or two in the kitchen just for cookies this will be our cookie wall and oh yeah it's gonna be double shelves you know it so we can't put one in the corner uh, let's just center it there we go that's our cookie shelf Oh, and some cookie dough still. A bit of cookie dough left over. My god, though, look at all these cookies. 12, 16, 19, 23. So the, let's see, the, the best one is the double chocolate chip, I think. Yeah, 30 hunger, 30 bored, or 20 boredom, 30 unhappiness. There you go. Now you know what the best cookies to make are. So I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Did uh, some new stuff. Uh, actually had a campfire without killing ourselves or burning down the base. So that was a success. Made some cookies, a ton of cookies. And uh, showed you guys uh, the new and improved backyard. I think things are looking pretty good for Wayne here. He's settled in nicely to uh, the mall community. Hang around for more daily Project Zomboid videos, but that does it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Leave those comments below, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Uh -huh.